Week 12 edition of the JP Poll has been released bravely. We have released the JP Poll before the college football playoff rankings, which has nothing to do with the JP Poll. This is not what I think the rankings should be. It's not what I think the AP should be. It has nothing to do with merit whatsoever. I don't care if you won or lost last week. It does not matter. Does not matter. Does not matter. It's just neutral field favorability. I'm about to show you these teams in order of how the model would favor them on a neutral field against each other if the games were played this weekend. So, as pointless as it is to say that every week, I still say it every week. Colin, let's take a look at one through five, because we have a new number one team in the country. It's going to be hard for some of you to believe, but the model has put Ohio State back at number one, and it has bumped Oregon down to number two. Truthfully, I think Oregon's a better football team than Ohio State right now. The model disagrees. FanDuel does as well. FanDuel would favor Ohio State against Oregon if they played on a neutral field today. And, spoiler alert, they may very well do that in three weeks in the Big Ten Championship game. So maybe we'll get our shot to see. Texas is number three. I still think there is room to grow. I still think Texas has the ceiling of the number one team in the country. That's me personally. But they're number three right now. Ole Miss, extreme detachment between the model and what the AP says, and I imagine what the playoff committee is going to say, and there are not many teams that we would favor over Ole Miss right now. In fact, three of them. We, the model would favor Ole Miss over Alabama right now. The model would favor Ole Miss over Georgia. That You just saw them beat them. Ole Miss is dangerous, man. Ole Miss is um, – they're as good as I have seen them look in a long time. Bama is up to five. They jumped three spots up to number five. There is a four-and-a-half-point gap between number one and number five right now, just an FYI. Georgia is down to number six. That is easily their lowest spot of the year. Notre Dame is at number seven, still very solid. Then there's a little bit of a drop-off between seven and eight. Between Notre Dame and Penn State, there is about a two-point gap. So, I mean, between Notre Dame and number one, there's a six-point gap. But then there is a -a two-and-a-half-point gap between seven and eight. So a little tiered, little teardrop there, T-I-E-R. Uh, Tennessee is at 9. Indiana is at 10. Still shocked that Indiana is this high in a power rating. Just amazing job by that staff and players, you know, the entire roster too. All right, our biggest jump of the week, not surprising. The fraudulent AP has only just now realized that South Carolina is still playing this year. The JP poll in pure rat poison form has put South Carolina at number 11. I want you to hear me when I tell you this. The model would pick South Carolina to win the ACC right now. The model would favor South Carolina, the sixth best team in the SEC, over anyone in the ACC right now. Now, we are going to put that theory to the test. So South Carolina plays at Clemson in a few weeks. So we'll find out how they really do stack up over there. And notice 12, 13, 14, 15. All ACC teams, Miami, Louisville, Clemson, SMU are right there. There's a two-point gap between Miami, the number one team in the ACC, and SMU from a power rating standpoint, the fourth team. SMU and Miami appear to be on a collision course into the conference title game, but the model still likes Louisville a lot. model still likes Clemson. I'm not as high on Clemson, but the model is. So, uh, yeah, I think the big takeaway there – And we're going to talk about SEC bias in a little while. Don't worry, I will address it, whatever that means. The model has six SEC teams above any ACC team and obviously above any Big 12 team. Just a a different caliber of depth of competition being uh, featured by the SEC this year. A&M is 16, LSU 17. LSU dropped five spots. There you go. I think they dropped a little bit further in the AP. Uh, This is not about merit. It's about neutral field favorability. I don't care how bad LSU looked the other night. They would still be favored over Kansas State if they played. Okay, Colorado's 18, USC's 19, Kansas State's 20. I know a lot of you are going to have a problem with USC. I don't know what to tell you. They'd be favored over these teams. They'd be favored over a lot of teams with much better records than them because that's how favorability works. Tulane is underrated. The AP snuck Tulane in there at 25, and I told you the other night I thought they were still underrated. And the answer should have been, what are they rated, Josh? Well, they should be rated 21st. The AJP poll has Tulane all the way up at 21. Rat poison alert. Just ban this video in the greater New Orleans area. At John Sumrall, ban that video. We don't want those guys knowing they're any good in that locker room. Gross. 
Ugh, you guys are terrible. But really, you're not. Brigham Young's at 22. We have exempted them. They will always have a spot in the JP poll as long as they're undefeated. Iowa is 23. Cal has jumped into the top 25. Cal, how about that, man? Florida State has got a win over a top 25 team. I hope you people realize that. All of you hating on Mike Norvell. He's firing everyone down there. He's got a win over a top 25 team. He's got losses against a bunch of them, including teams that aren't in the top 25. But he's got himself a top 25 win. And Arizona State, Kenny Dillingham there. They go to Kansas State this week, and they go there as a top 25 JP poll team. Between number 13 and number 25, there is a five-point gap. So there is a couple of tiers there at the top, but then once you get in the 13 to 25 range, it is very compressed. I mean, it's packed up really, really tightly. So I thought, okay, let's unveil the JP poll on tonight's show, and then everyone's going to hate it. Uh, let's just see. I mean, I'm looking at the live chat over here. There is no way Cal or Arizona State would be favored over Boise. You're actually right about that. You are actually right about that, YJP. Uh, Boise would be favored over both of those teams. The model disagrees with that. Let me be clear. I hit up FanDuel about this all the time. Uh, they do disagree with the model's placement of Boise. Uh, the model, for the record, we have Boise at like number 27, so a little bit lower. Uh, but, but you are right. Uh, in, in true odds-making world, if this game was happening, like if uh, Arizona State played Boise, Boise would be favored. Small, but they'd be favored. We would disagree with it, and we would immediately bet against Boise is all I'm telling you there. So there is a discrepancy. You are right about that. 